everyone wants to be a micro influencer. What's next, and like, how do you think we can get ahead of that so that we're doing something different? If you're focusing in that lane, what's next is micro micro influencers. Well, that's kind of what the, the more micro. Is. What do you mean by more that? micro? Okay. Everybody than the way it is now. If you're asking me what's gonna happen, yeah. everybody's in play. And the companies that figure out through technology or f- frameworks will understand that they, I mean, it's very co- not very complicated. If I told you that you could, and I don't have the way to do this yet, but we, if we were partners, the three of us, I'd be like, all right, here I am, guys. I'm supposed to be some sort of wizard. Here's what I'm gonna figure out. We're gonna have 177,000 freshmen this year share content at scale. Micro, micro. How one does that, there's a lot of ways to think about it, but what I'm good at is understanding what's gonna happen a lot of times. If you're talking about humans and influencer marketing, ambassadors, whatever, the next thing you're asking me the question, I'm giving you that answer, I feel confident about. Micro, micro. Here's why. If you have, let's play it out in perpetuity. If AI and machine learning is good enough to be able to run an algorithm and find every single high school senior incoming freshmen and everybody who graduated a year ago and you can get to them and create a trade where you'll get more sales out of them than you have to give them, you would do that. Right. We just have to reach them all. That's right. That's our problem. <laughs> I believe the way to do it now is hand-to-hand combat. Elaborate. I think you should hire 78 people in a country that allows you to pay them three bucks an hour to reach out to people one by one. Just like DMing on Instagram and... Yep. We do that, but it needs to be scaled. The end. Yeah. I think you need to hire 90... What would you offer them? I would, you Not know, the people doing it, but like on the other end, the freshmen, what do you think is most effective to offer them? I don't know, but I do have a lot of theses. Um, first of all, I would ask them. So I would ask that question too. Here's what I want, what do you want? Um, you can get a lot of info that way. Um, but, you know, there's a million cliche things, you know that, right? You know, whether it's monetary or free goods or money or perks or access or something cool that they think is currently cool, there's a million things to go there. I think asking works. But I think if you make a strategy to hire 100 employees in Vietnam mm-hmm. to do this, I think it would work. I want to do it. I'm giving you advice that I'm thinking about right now. I have three full-time employees, but they sit in New York City, they're not inexpensive, and I'm building a first-party CRM by pulling everybody out of Instagram because I don't want to be at the mercy of Instagram. What do you mean they're, you're pulling them out of Instagram? I'm DMing every single person that follows me that's verified or has 100,000 followers, and I'm asking them to fill out a first-party data form so that when I send a, an email to 74,000 people that are legit as fuck on Instagram, and ask them if they want a sample of Empathy Wines, and if they do, I expect them to post it on their story and post. It's going to work. That's... One of your people asked me to do something with Empathy Wines. That makes me happy. <laughs> They're doing something. That's amazing. You know, so like, and I think, that, and honestly, it, the reason I'm giving you the advice, I'm, t- I'm giving you advice that I'm gonna take. I'm gonna hire 100 people in Vietnam, or in Bahrain, or something, like, maybe. <laughs> it, might, it, might, it, might, it might become my company, I don't know. Uh, you know, to me, it's a very simple thing. What part of the world, is the least expensive talent that is the most good. So instead of using a tool that like filters. Correct, Be- because you're gonna like where I'm going with this, because I think the human part matters. Me too. That's why I do it. My team reaches out and I'm CC'd on a DM and literally on my flight from London yesterday, I'm just replying and they're like, this isn't Gary, and then I take the video, I'm like, it's me, and they're like, oh, I fuck you, they're like, you know. Yeah, I thought the same thing. <laughs> I guess you were there. That was me. <laughs> like, so, so that matters. Yeah. And, like, to your point, like, me writing it still made you think it wasn't me, because as much as I'll say that anytime I write it's me, it's not gonna go there, and so then I have to do the video. Right. You know? So, I think that will work. I know that will work. Cool. Hand to hand combat at scale to create more opportunity in the long tail that you can amortize and make valuable is the game. Scaling the unscalable is the game. It will work.